Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little Spider-Man themed building cake including a little cutesy cartoon style Spider-Man. I've just iced quite a large rectangular board in grey fondant. I've baked some 12 inch square chocolate cakes and I've cut myself off a little cake card to the size of the building that I want to make. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut my squares of cake up so they get a few of these rectangles. Now the more rectangles you've got the taller your building is going to become. So buttercream the card and what we're going to do is just layer up these pieces of cake put a bit of chocolate buttercream in between and what I'll do is I'll put everything I've used in the description box below the video. So just keep going till you're happy with the height or till you've run out of cake. Mine's taller than I thought it was going to be. So I'm laying it down on its side now so you can see its side view and I'm just going to cover the whole thing in chocolate buttercream. Now because it's quite tall I'm a bit worried that it might sink so what I'm going to do is just add a bit of chocolate ganache all over the cake. So it's still laying down on its side at the moment or on its back. While that ganache is wet I'm going to put some grease proof on and I'm going to flip it over because the back of my building won't have any ganache on. So let's flip that over and we'll get some buttercream and ganache on the back. Ooh, one of my cakes is split a bit but that's okay. So once your ganache has dried add a second coat just to try and neaten it all off, get it as smooth as you can. Now my building's going to get a little bit narrower as we get further up so I've got some of those extra bits of cake that were left from those squares that I've cut into smaller rectangles now and again I'm placing them on a little cake card like I did last time and if you want to put sugar syrup on your cakes you can do just keeps them moist a bit longer. I've just got a couple more bits of cake left, they're quite small so let's create a little arch for the top so we'll just use a circle cutter to cut those out. Use a scraper if it helps to smooth that off. You're going to ganache our other pieces of the tower as well, so that little curve and our smaller rectangle. Once everything's set, we're going to cover it in grey fondant. So I'm going to start with my smallest piece. Just use some cake smoothers if that helps to keep everything nice and straight and flat. Now this one hasn't got a cake board at the bottom, this small one. But I've put ganache on the bottom so it's reasonably firm. Let's put a thin strip of fondant around the edge of that arch there. Trim off the bottom bits. Just going to use some black edible dust just to shade anywhere that would be a little bit darker. We're just going to cover both those other pieces of cake that you've done as well. So I've left it laying down flat, we've covered the front, then we've stood it up and we're just going to cover the back as a separate piece. That way if we get seams the seams are all going to be on the back of our building so we're not going to see it too much from the front. Just try and rub them out the best you can. Oh, got a bit of chocolate ganache poking through there. So on my largest rectangle I'm going to put quite a wide band of grey around the bottom. So take that all the way around. I'll pick it up and I'll do the back piece separate. Let's add a little bit of shading. Again, I'm just using the edible dust with a dry brush. If you've got an airbrush, you can use an airbrush. And I'm just using some of my remaining ganache to just put a little bit on my cake board. And then we can lift up our building and place that on our cake board. So the same as you've just done with your big building, do the same with your smaller ones if you've chosen to make smaller ones. I'm just going to do these in grey and smooth it down. So I'm going to draw some rough lines on with my ruler to see if that helps me space out the windows that I'm going to put on. Just got my square little cutter and we're just going to push indentation in at the bottom for our doorway and then we're going to do this all over the rest of the building trying to follow the lines we've put on. Once you've got all your windows on again put a bit of shading on and we can paint in the windows as well. Just paint in a little bit of white this one's got the water mixed in again just so that we've got some light reflecting. And we're going to add these extra buildings that we've made just slightly behind our large building and just try and wipe away any ganache that's squeezed out there. It'll be a little bit slippery at first but it will set hard and firm. And I'm just using some cake dowels or you can use large straws just to push into my large building at the front. I'm not going to need them on those side buildings at the back because they're the full height that they're going to be. This front one is going to be built up taller using those other cakes that we iced earlier. Using an edible pen we'll mark the height of our cake and we'll trim that. We're going to measure some more so they all come to the same height and then we'll push those into our cake. Make sure they're not too far out on the cake because our next tier 
wants to sit on top of those. So I'm just going to stick this on with a bit of chocolate ganache. So this was that slightly smaller rectangle that we made. And on top, our little semicircle. So can you see it's getting quite tall now, our building. Now we just really want to neaten everything up. So we're just going to roll out little strips of fondant that go around the top and bottom of each of these tiers. Now you do have to work quite quick because your fondant can tear if you spend a long time. So I'd spent a little while on mine. So we're going to use some geometric cutters just to make things a little bit quicker on this one for our windows. So I've got a square one. It's the largest square one that you get in the pack. Ooh, press a little bit firmer. Just be careful you don't squash your cake when you are pushing this in. And try and bring it around the sides of the cake as well. Okay, and we'll just add another strip of fondant around the bottom of that. And we'll add one around the top of this bit here, which is now our bottom tier. Just straighten that up the best you can. We're just going to create a big archway and fondant with a little strip around the edge for a big entranceway on this building. And I found some little archway cutters, so we can use these for some different shaped windows now on this building. Now I've got chocolate ganache stuck on the front, but because it's stone effect, it's okay, we can get away with it on this one. And I've just got some grey edible dusts that we've mixed with a little bit of water to just paint on our windows. We're going to dark have these ones darker again. And just like we did before, some little lines of white across so it looks like it's really reflective. Then we'll put a little band of grey on the bottom of each window. I've got some really watered down white. Again, just white food colouring is fine. Brushed across the top windows. And if you want to go over in between gaps with black to darken it with shading, you can do. And I thought it'd be nice to add some spider's webs. So I've just melted some marshmallows and we're just trying to get these to go all stringy and they keep sticking to me. If you find the marshmallow too messy, you don't have to add the cobwebs. Let's add Spider-Man now. Just got a ball of red. Let's give him a strip of blue under there so he looks like he's wearing some pants. Okay, and just another small little kind of ball on the little mini sausage shape at the other side, kicking out a little kind of triangle, rough triangle of blue. Stick this on the side. And can you see he's got another kind of triangle that we stuck further up for the arm. Little oval on the bottom of there. So that leg looks like it's bending backwards. And another little oval that we're just going to squish. So it looks like it's going around the end of that blue bit that we stuck on earlier. Followed by another red oval stuck on the end of that, pointing upwards so it starts to look like a foot. Let's give him an arm. And let's make him a little hand. Try and curve him over some fingers. Now if the fingers are difficult, just give him a little mitten style hand where he, all the fingers are just in one. So I've gone for a red oval for the face and then we've got a white circle. We've just cut that in half so we've got the two semicircles for the eyes. And I did have a look at different little cute images of Spider-Man online to see if I could base it on one that I'd found. Because I didn't want to do him too realistic. I thought cutesy was a better option. Let's try making that other hand. Just try and push in some fingers. Give him a piece of white fondant for his spider's web. Stick that onto the top of the cake. Just bend that round to how you want it to be. Add another one coming from his other arm. Then we're going to draw on all our little lines and spiders. I'm just You can paint it if you prefer. Um, I've just got an edible black pen. So let's draw on all our little lines. So we've got the spider on and the lines on the red parts of his costume. I'm just using an edible pen, but you can use a paintbrush and some black food colour if you prefer. There you go, so he's now all finished. Here's what it looks like all put together. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.